In this video, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to create a realistic t-shirt mockup in less than 5 minutes on Adobe Photoshop. Let's go. So before we start, let me go ahead and set up a timer. 3, 2, 1, go. The first thing you're going to do is open up Photoshop and import your t-shirt file. If you don't have one, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can get it for free. Let's go ahead and rename this layer t-shirt. Now let's import your graphic. We'll go to File, Open, select your graphic, and hit Open. Once you have the graphic file open, hit Command A to select all and Command C to copy. Now let's jump back into the t-shirt file and hit Command V to paste your graphic. Select the graphic layer and rename it to Graphic. What you're going to do next is right click on the graphic layer and convert this layer into a smart object. Now hit Command T to transform your graphic. And what we're going to do here is click and drag on any of the handles on the outer edge of the graphic and scale down your image until it fits within the t-shirt. That looks pretty good right there. Once you're happy with the size of your graphic, hit enter on your keyboard to set the scale. Now we're going to create a displacement map for your graphic. Right click on the t-shirt layer and hit duplicate layer. So what displacement mapping does is that it takes an image or shape and distorts it in a way where it conforms to the surface that it sits on. So in this example, the graphic will distort itself to match the wrinkles and curves of the shirt, making it look a lot more realistic. I'm not the best at explaining things, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. What we're going to do now is hide all the layers except for the t-shirt copy layer. Go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Set the radius at 5 pixels and hit OK. Now we're going to save this file as a PSD. Go to File and click on Save a Copy. Let's name this file Displace and then hit Save. Now let's go back to the Layers panel and delete the t-shirt copy layer and unhide all the other layers. Now we're going to add the displacement mapping to the graphic layer. So what you're going to do is click on the graphic layer, go to Filter, Distort, and select Displace. You can copy my displacement settings shown on screen. Once you have that, click OK, and then open up the displace file that we saved earlier. Now we have the displacement mapping applied to our graphic layer. Now you might not notice anything at first, but if we zoom in, you can really see some distortion happening on the outer edges of the graphic. And if we move down here, you can also tell from the text. So now that we have the displacement done, let's go ahead and add a few more effects to the graphic layer. So what you're going to do is go to the Blending Options drop-down and select Screen, and then change the opacity to 90%. That's looking real good. Now we're going to create another copy of the t-shirt layer, and then we're going to move it on top of the graphic layer. Now we're going to use this layer and create a clipping mask on top of the graphic. What you're going to do here is hold down the Option key until this little icon appears, and then click. Now we're going to change the Blend Mode to Multiply. Now go to Image, Adjustments, and Levels. From here, what you're going to do is click on this marker and drag it towards the left until you see the graphic appear. There's no right or wrong way to do this part. It's totally up to you on how you want your graphic to look. Once you're happy with the selection, hit OK. And there you go. You've just made a realistic t-shirt mockup in less than 5 minutes. Now here's what it looks like before and after. At this point, you're pretty much done, but if you want to go back and make a few changes to your graphic, you have the option to do that. Now you can use the same technique and apply it to any other piece of clothing that you have for your brand. As always, if you learned something new today, drop a like or comment down below and consider subscribing to my channel because I'll be dropping more content just like this. And if you want to elevate your clothing brand, you can check out some of these other videos here. And I'll catch you in the next video. Design Beyond Boundaries. Peace.